So today we will be playing the 2007 Aurora Engine Masterpiece by CD Projekt Red or how we like to call them in Poland CD Projekt Red The game opens with the with a scene from the very first uh, Witcher story um, published uh, in the in the Polish Zin actually and then later in the in the book uh, called The Last Wish it was also in the Netflix adaptation but you can clearly see that this girl is no Henry Cavill yeah also the 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 cinematic looks pretty pretty dope and the music the music slaps even to this day i mean my my favorite uh, which uh which music would have to be the the one from the wild hunt but this one is pretty good too yeah so girl did have the potion and now we wait for the poor girl to come out of her closet <laughs> and grave, actually. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys read the, the Witcher books? I mean, there are... Um, they are a um, coming-of-age novel here in Poland, but I'm not that sure about it being that known in the West before the before the the games and the and the Netflix adaptation at least. I know that it has a pretty pretty decent following in Germany. It's called Hexer there. Yeah, okay, I have my, my bullet points here uh, written so that I don't forget to, to mention that the, the, the engine, the, the reds used for making this game was uh, previously used for the game called Neverwinter Nights. And to, to make the Witcher work, they had to rebuild it. Uh, and in the end, nothing was left out of the original Aurora. They uh, they made the engine that was built for isometric projection, which is basically tilting the camera about uh, thirty degrees uh, to to project the 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 to project both from the the isometric and from the third person perspective, which is which is pretty amazing. And if you if you read the the interviews with the, the creators they pretty much had to had to beat the the engine into submission which is which is quite cool but it also shows how inexperienced they were making making this game Also, everything I know about this 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 game, about its law, uh, about the the creators, um, I I I get all my Witcher info from the the Polish gaming channel that's run by the by the journal ju journalists. Uh, the channel is called TV Gry. and I would link the videos in the description, but they don't do English subtitles. I mean, they have pretty decent following over, like around the one million subs or something. So I, I don't, don't really think that they want to broaden the, the audience. Yeah, but but. If you have any any questions uh, about the Witcher, you can, uh, probably tweet them, and uh, they would be be, be probably very very chatty, <laughs> about about the, this, this particular franchise. Yeah. This 
same as weird. They they look like if they were on a on a trip and so. Those eyes. <laughs> okay, now all is left for Geralt to do is to have a nap in there, which is always great to have a nap on the job, if you ask me. The birds are chirping, the, the sun is rising. I have the the last wish on hand because um the the body of Ada is is pretty pretty thick here and in the book she's described as rather ugly, slim with a small tiny pointy breast, dirty. I mean, yeah, I, I translated this as, as I went. I don't have the Witcher in English. Okay. So let's play the Witcher. And we will play it with mouse. Because that is how they intended for this game to be played. Yeah. Also, the, the loading screens are <laughs> extremely fast. I remember when I played this game for the... For the first time, and the the loading screen was enough for you, for me to to go downstairs to to make myself a sandwich and brew myself a nice hot cup of tea, have a chat with my mother maybe, <laughs> yeah. But but I I do think that I I run this game on on a sack of potatoes that was that was connected with wires. <laughs> Calling that a, a, a PC would be would be generous. <laughs> Yeah. The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin. The year 1270. Five years after the Great War. <sighs> Get out! Get out! The cinematics. I mean, the, the, the cinematics on the game engine are, are such a mess. Um, I read in an in interview that they didn't have a, a person that would be in charge of, of the cutscenes, so they just did them as they as they went along, and you can really tell because <laughs> some of them are, are pretty awkward. And like when you when you talk to to the NPCs, they they can they can act in a pretty weird way too, like like the, the way their their body <laughs> moves. It's 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 plain. Plainly weird. Yeah. So here we have our protagonist riding on... Riding. Skyrim style. <laughs> That's our boy Esco looking handsome. He sounds so manly in the English dub. I mean, I've always played played the game with, with the Polish dubs. So, so... So that's that's like the, the the first time experience for me. Also, that that horse looks looks weird. It's it's a little bit too too big in comparison to, to Papa Vesemir. Yeah, he's got amnesia like every other <laughs> RPG protagonist ever. That's that's so cliche. I, I honestly at this point, like in 2020. Having your, your character have amnesia is, is just lazy writing. But back then we can we can we can let it slide. Also Kar Moren looks beautiful. 
I'm not sure if they if they tweaked the textures or something to make this game look better. I downloaded this from GOG because uh, even though I have the, the box release of this game, I can't can't really install it because I don't have a I don't have a CD drive. Oh, that's our favorite boy, Lambert. You wanna hear a limerick, son? <laughs> Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Oh, looking young and beautiful. Yeah. Tadaima! There's, there's something fishy going on. Lambert, Lambert can tell there is, there is somebody hiding in the sewer. Enjoy things while you can. That is such a, such a cartoonish thing to do, to have a, an evil character, an antagonist, have, have a, a monologue about how he's going to get the, the guy, get the main guy. <laughs> I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Ah, Triss. Honestly, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of Triss. Thank you, Triss. <sighs> I mean, I I am a person that comes into into the fandom as a book reader. I I started with the books and then I I progressed to the games and then the show. So for me. The, it's obvious that Gena, Get Out and Yennefer should be a couple. I I, I get that um, that Triss has a certain appeal and she has a, a a significant following, but but they 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 don't they just don't go together in my opinion. Yeah, Lambert, his spider senses are tingling. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? Wait for the rest. He's alone. The professor promised fifty orans for every freak we kill. He's mine. This, 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 what did they just sneak up on him or something? It's, it just looks like they, they appeared out of nowhere. We got company. <laughs> that ass. The, the only, uh, no, not the only, one of the many problems I have with this game is that in, in cutscenes, the characters either move in slow motion or they move really fast. The, the movement. Rarely it looks natural. Yeah, go grab the sword and then you will remember everything, Geralt. Your fingers would remember their own strength better if they grasped your sword. Honestly, the, these controls are... Um, they are very, very unique. <laughs> Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Mary. I... Mm, some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Get the room, you two. <laughs> Check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. Also, I, I'm not not really a fan of of the way Triss is dressed in this part. I mean, I I get it. It's 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 for the for the fans. But mm, I mean, it, the 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 clothing it's not really fantasy themed. She just looks like a like a prostitute. <sighs> yeah, but Triss is always a, a a tool for fun service. I'm not sure if you're if you're aware, but she was in an issue of uh, Polish Playboy back in the day when they still did uh, pictures. 
Oh, Savola, a Mortal Kombat character in the Witcher game. <laughs> They're coming up here. Get ready. This frame is weird. They they look like if they were on a on a trip and somebody was filming them with with a smartphone. Glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. Yeah. It's also like I I feel like they they wrote this the script for this game for people who who already know the story because Trist delivers exposition in pretty obnoxious way. But then again, this could be my my Tris hate. I don't recognize the Tris hating genes speaking. Whether you can disarm yeah. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bells in the upper courtyard. Exactly. Esco, Lambert, you'll help me stop the frightener and the bandits. Mm. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt. You open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the professor and the unknown mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before <gasps> withdrawing. Geralt, follow the road and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits. You can do it, dude. If Dad said you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> See, that's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Not because we're in a tutorial or something. <laughs> out there was he drinking from the barrel <laughs> it's just weird having an enemy like crouch in in the middle of, of nowhere I, I feel like I could dab the game too with all those fighting sounds like <laughs> Yeah, I think it must be fun to, to voice act in a game where you have to make like combat noises <laughs> and, and stuff <laughs> Oh Honestly, if if I was to to play this game right now, if I didn't know the 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 Witcher world uh, or the story, I would probably <laughs> not want to play it because because this this mechanics is 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 pretty weird. Yeah, it is pretty weird. Let 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 get let let us uh, let us let the the Witcher one stay in the 2010s. Let it let it stay <laughs> in the past. <laughs> yeah. No way through here. Follow me, back to Savola. 
I mean, honestly, if you've only played like the, the Witcher 2 or the Wild Hunt, I, I don't think there, there, there is a reason for you to, to revisit this game. Mm. Because... Uh, because most of the storylines uh, were discussed in the Netflix adaptation. If you're interested in, in the lore of The Witcher, you can always read the books and the, the gameplay is, is not very friendly for, for, for the modern gamer. I mean, it, it, it does require some, some patience because, because it, it's, it's boring. It is pretty boring. I mean, if I, if I wasn't talking, I would, I would probably get bored quickly. I mean, it's it's cool to to revisit all of your beloved characters, but I feel like it's better to to revisit them in in The Witcher Three. <laughs> I like the pigeons. I like the pigeons. Honestly, the, the graphics in this game, I, I think they are not that bad really for a game that's like 13 years old, it, it, they, it looks pretty decent. I mean, usually when you, when you revisit, when you rev, when you <laughs> revisiting a game you played uh, as a young and inexperienced person, uh, you tend to, to think of it being much better than it actually is. For example, I remember the game Gothic by Piranha Bytes looking much, much better than their most recent creation, Alex, <laughs> which is certainly not the case. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna beat this monster. <laughs> I mean, what, what is, what, 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 what is, what is this even supposed to be? Like, this is, this is such a mess. <laughs> Damn it, Geralt. It's a miracle you're alive. You could have told me about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not masons. No matter. The professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, witchers. Mm -hmm. They're here to rob you. Tris, child, we have nothing of value. Some steel, snow fox pelts. I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Tris may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs mm -hmm. on a strong mage leading a frightener. Mm -hmm. Then you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Tris. Geralt, you've dealt with mm, right as usual, Chris. Right as usual, Chris. <laughs> no one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. Your manage, Wolf. Just remember, Leo's with you. I can handle this. We'll mm -hmm. see what's happening inside. And take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. Okay, let's let's take the potion. Oh my god, I took the swallow. I was supposed to take the thunderbolt. <laughs> I messed up. Get it done quickly and you may be back in time for the frightener. Will do. What did Vesemir mean about me? You killed a few in your time. Sorceresses are a separate matter. You have a weakness for them, and it's mutual. <laughs> cried when she told us about disappearance. She's not all bad, though too smart for her own good mm. sometimes. We'll talk when things calm down. Drink your Thunderbolt potion and explore the keep. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. I, I, I thought you may give me another swallow because... I drank my own swallow like an idiot that I am. Yeah. Oh, we'll make do. Mm -hmm. 
I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. Dandelion or Buttercup. Oh yes, kid. Depending on on the translation and the adaptation. <laughs> they they mean mean the bard. The humble bard. That graced the ride along with Geralt of Rivia. I know. Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. Okay, let's go, Leo. Mess with me and die. Mess with me and die. That's so annoying. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go to the basement. Are these guys even like human? They they look like some halflings or something. <laughs> yeah, but but the the some of the textures in this game are not the best. Also. The The energy you annexed from the circle of elements is enough to stop the witches? You tremble yet Like they, they, they just stand here and they just talk and they didn't leave anybody guarding the door and Geralt and Leo they just sneak up on them and still Leo come on, dies. Like, come on. Like, <laughs> honestly, the only person that can be blamed for Leo's death is the the person who choreographed this scene. <laughs> also, um, if you if you have the the wild hunt, you can go to Kairmoren and you will find the grave of Leo there. I think that's that's a nice touch. The magic yeah. looks solid. We need Triss. Also, should I put the, the spoiler alert in this video? Because the, there's obviously a lot of spoilers. I mean, the, the book has been around for like one million years. And the game is old enough to have a sleepover party with with the friends. <laughs> so, so, yeah. But um, honestly, the other day I saw a guy on Facebook get mad about the, the spoilers about Lord of the Rings and that the book is going to be 100 years old in a blink. Success? We'll see in a minute. I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the friend. We are going. Yeah. That went smoothly. <laughs> what did you learn? The bandits are in the lab. The plague. Triss, child. It didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable. Yeah, uh, exposition. On the continent, taking all yeah, right. all in all, if if we don't beat them, they will steal all of our I think we should protect magical thingies. <laughs> thingies. We know you can see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll Enough. Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Yeah, yet again, get a room you too. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to yeah. Vesemir. I'll stay. I'll handle the frightener with Vesemir. I'm going then. It doesn't really matter what you choose because <laughs> you have to just stay and fight to the other mage. I'll use him as a beacon and I could lose you along the way. Be careful. 
I'm a big girl. I'll manage. Geralt, this tawny owl potion restores endurance. If there's a fight, hit the bell in cauldrons with the Ard. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. I mean, when, when the when the characters have the the camera already closed up on them, it gets weirdly laggy. I I have no idea why, why is that. Why is that? Why why that is? Ooh. So yeah, we have to ring all the cauldrons and the bells to make as much noise as we possibly can. I I did edit that part out because the, the this video would last one one million hours if I let that part in. <laughs> Yeah, it died. I mean, it, it it was it was pretty confusing that the the cauldrons would stop ringing and then you had to ring it over again. Yeah. She did. They're destroying the lab. We can't let them steal our secrets. Sorry to say, Triss was right. We must stop them. Geralt, you and Leo run to the lab. I'll tend to Triss. Be careful. We don't know who we're dealing with. We'll do what we can, Vesemir. Quick! They have the, the box. Okay. This scene is so... It, it, it's so pointless and it makes little to no sense. Like, uh, honestly, the... The way he kills Leo. <laughs> and the, the fact he, he doesn't even strike him with with a spell he just like straight out walks up to them like you know the the napoleon era style where where, where the where they line up uh, facing each other and he just shoots the fucking bolt <laughs> like dude who would have expected that <laughs> come on That's that's pretty uh, anticlimactic, anti to be honest. <laughs> also, I like how Geralt is trying to kill um, to kill the guy the same way that Bellatrix killed Dobby in Harry Potter. But she she did manage to uh, she did manage to kill Dobby, so she she's a better witch than Geralt at this point in the story. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I shouldn't be making jokes. This is like a um, real dramatic. It's not that Leo is a is a disposable character. Okay, this video is already very long, so I think we should conclude it here. Also, I ran out of random witcher facts to entertain you, and I don't feel confident enough to rely on my personality to entertain. This video was a nightmare to edit, and I am to blame. I forgot what an optimization nightmare this game is and I had to edit in all the cutscenes. I also forgot to tweak the settings and install mods. This is so lame, I've been playing on my playstation for way too long. Did you make it this far along in this video? You're amazing and I love you! 
If you want to experience this game yourself, it costs around a dollar on GOG. You don't have to play the full scenario, there are shorter adventures too. Thank you for watching! Bye bye!